Hi, welcome back to second grade. Right now we are working on our Android projects and we will get started on those today. But we need to go over some information that we talked about last time and then we'll go over some new information and then we will go over all the steps we took last time just in case you weren't here or you forgot how to make your Android face. Before we begin today, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the most famous artists and her self-portrait. So this is by Frida Kahlo. I just want you to take 10 seconds to look at it, and then we'll discuss what we see. So go ahead and look at this image. Try not to look away. Try to look for the clues, because remember, you're the artist investigator. So I'll count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, raise your hand and tell me what you saw. Now today I will be teaching you how to draw a face in proportion. Everyone say proportion. So proportion means that we're using a little bit of our math brain skills to make the face look real. Because everyone can draw a little happy face but I wanna train my second graders on how to make a face look totally real. Here's the twist. We are going to be making Android self-portraits, so it means that you're gonna be creating yourself as an Android. Androids are robots that look and act like humans. Now let's talk about artificial intelligence. So what artificial intelligence means is that a machine can make decisions for itself. So for instance, if you have a laptop computer or an iPad, the iPad can't work unless someone is using it. And the computer really doesn't do anything unless someone turns it on. But as we learned last time, there are robots that can respond and talk and make their own decisions. So that would mean that Sophia is an artificial intelligence. Today you will need a new sheet of paper. You will also need your sketch from last time so that you can get some ideas. Remember, it was just a sketch. So does your final project have to look exactly like the sketch? I hope you said no, because it does not have to look like it. You can make the changes as an artist. Go ahead and take this moment now and sharpen your pencils and let, give me a thumbs up to show me that you're ready. Now today, it's really important that when we're drawing, that you do not press hard on the pencil. We're gonna draw a light until you get it right. Because if you need to go back and erase these lines, it's gonna be really hard if you press really hard on the pencil. You need to draw lightly, like you're whispering to the paper with the pencil. Awesome. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to take our pencils and we need to write our name in class code at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and write Mr. Boatfield because that is my name, but if you have your own special name, you need to write that down below. We are also going to write our class code, um, and I will give this to you now. I will pause the video and give you our class code for today. So, can anyone raise their hand and tell us what the very first step was when we created our faces last time? Okay, so I hope that someone said that we need to do our face shape. So according to our worksheets here, there are a few different face shapes that you could have. Most people tend to have an oval or a longer oval. A lot of boys and men tend to have a square shape, but sometimes you may have more of a round face or a triangular face. What we're gonna do now is we're, we're just gonna check with the neighbor. I want you to kindly, respectfully check with the neighbor and I want you to ask what face shape they think you are and then tell them what face shape you think they are. Give me a thumbs up once someone has told you what you were and then also when you have told someone what you think they were. Okay, awesome. Now, if you disagree with someone and you think that you're another face shape, you can go for it. If you wanna do this your way, that's totally fine. So someone told me that I have more of an oblong shape, which is an oval, but kind of longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I need to make it big. 
what needs to fit inside of your shape that you choose. I hope you said your hand. You need to make this big enough where your hand can fit inside because this is a portrait. This is gonna be of your face. I don't wanna see an itty bitty little circle on your paper and then you're telling me that that's your face. So I did my test, my hand fits inside. Remember, if you mess up, you can always flip it over on the back side or erase. Now it is time to split it with a vertical line down the center. And now we have two parts. What do we call that in fractions? I hope you said halves. Then you're gonna find the middle of this line over here and make a plus sign across your paper. Now, you guys are not following along with me you are just watching. Make sure that when you do this, you draw light so that you get it right. If you draw too hard, it'll be really hard to erase this. And I am getting all these instructions from the handout that I created. The next thing I need to do is I need to put a line right in between the center of the face and the chin. This is gonna be our nose. Now remember, you could just do a C for a nose. If you're feeling fancy, you could do some little lines over here for the nostrils but if you're feeling extra fancy or if you just want to you can bring it up and make a nose that way but my nose doesn't look like that so I think I'm gonna erase and just kind of do it my way and that is okay you can be the artist so I changed the nose a little bit now it's time for me to do the mouth so in between the nose and the chin is we're gonna draw a little bit of a longer line and then it's up to you how you want to do your face I'm thinking that I want to do mine super smiley. So I'm just going to turn this line into a D that's on its side and then maybe draw some lines for teeth. So it looks like I'm smiling. You can even do some dimples, which means that the cheeks are really out there where you can see them. It's up to you. Um, I'm happy with that mouth, except I want a little bit of lips. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some lines to make it look like I have some. Now it's time for the eyes. The eyes go in the center of these two lines here, so the ones that come out from the center horizontally to the sides. I usually just start with a dash. That tells me where to put the eye, so it's almost kind of like I'm planning it. I will turn those dashes into ovals, and then I will erase what's inside them. Now, there's kind of two circles in those oval. One is called the iris of our eyes that has the colors. Yours could be green, blue, or brown, or hazel, or there's many different colors that your eyes could be. And then inside is the pupil, so that's the black part. And I am just gonna kinda color that in with my pencil so I remember later that that's a dark part. Now it looks like I am really surprised. I'm gonna make myself look a little bit more relaxed by adding an eyelid. So I'm just adding a line on top of it. Now it doesn't look so crazy. That's kind of what I want. So for the eyebrows, I think I'm just gonna do a really thick blocked kind of shape. You can make this up or you could just put a line there. It's up to you and that will be my brows. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the face. On the ends of these lines, you can put a little bit of a C and that will be the ears. Don't forget to do your neck. I don't wanna see any floating faces cause that would be scary. And then I'm gonna put some lines down and maybe I'll add a little shirt. This does not have to be perfect guys. Before I add the hair today, I'm gonna go back and I need to do what with these lines that I don't need. What do I need to do? I hope you said erase. So taking either the eraser on your pencil or the eraser on the cup, you'll go back and you'll erase the lines you don't need. Now, do you need to erase everything? I hope you said no, because please do not erase all of your hard work. You're just erasing the lines that you don't need anymore. Now, I am not bald, at least not yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some hair. I'm just gonna put some hair, some crazy lines right here. But remember, if you are wanting to put longer hair for your self-portrait, you can totally do that. You might even, I'm gonna make my hair look a little messy. 
just to be kind of crazy. Sometimes I wake up with messy hair. So that's kind of how I want it to be. But before we do the next step, I want you to think about how you can be creative. Remember, these are androids. So how can you tell me that yours is an android? Now, when you do your androids, you can show me what it looks like maybe on one side of the face inside the mechanics or like the um, mechanical parts of your Android. You can show that to me. It's okay. Now, if you look closely here, you can see that there's just different shapes. There's rectangles, triangles. Be creative. And this can be easy. I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. You could make your Android totally mechanical. Maybe it doesn't have skin like us. Maybe you can just see the parts like you see here. There's circles. There's different crazy lines. Maybe you're doing kind of crazy glow-in-the-dark eyes. It's totally up to you. Maybe your Android's kind of scary. Maybe it has more of a normal face, but in some areas it has like a totally cool laser or a cannon or a camera. Be creative. Maybe it's like Sophia where you can see inside of her head and see the different mechanics, the wires and gears. I like that idea. I think I'm gonna do this side of the face more mechanical, and then I'll leave this more normal. So what I did to show you that mine's actually an android is I just added random shapes. I did circles, I did rectangles with triangles, I honestly just made it up. I tried to make shapes that looked like gears, some that looked like wires. Maybe your robot is malfunctioning. Maybe it's going crazy. Maybe it's evil. Maybe it's a good robot. I'll let you decide. And then I have to think about my background. I'm just gonna make it easy and I'm gonna do the rays that we did from our landscape project outward. But maybe there's an Android war going on. Maybe there's a whole bunch of Androids behind it. Maybe your Android is going to the mall and it's going shopping. Be creative in the background too. Now I'm going to show you what the next step is. So you'll need to find one of these fine point sharpies. This is the regular size. Please don't get the jumbo. You're going to need to go over all of your lines with the sharpie. Every single one. That's right. You heard me. All right, guys, what do you think? Am I done? Raise your hand, tell me, am I done? If I'm not done, tell me why not. Go ahead and raise your hands. Okay, I hope that somebody said that I wasn't done because I didn't go over all my lines. Now guys, if your Sharpie starts running out of ink, just switch it out for another one. Really, it just has to make a mark. It doesn't have to be a big, bold black mark like this. If it's just one that's kind of working, it'll still work, but like I said, if you can't handle it, just switch it out for another one. You don't need to tell me. Unless it is totally out and it's not making a mark, just come let me know and then I'll throw it away for you. Okay, so I finally went over all those lines. Then it's your time to go back and use your craftsmanship. There's gonna be lines where it didn't fully get covered by the Sharpie. Go back and erase those. Make sure it looks really neat because these are going to be painted and I don't want to see those little itty bitty lines. They can kind of annoy people when they see them. They want to see that you went back and maybe fix those areas. So just take that time once you're done with the Sharpie. Now today I want you to leave these on the table when you're done. You can take your sketches home. So the ones we did last time where we added color and kind of brainstormed our faces, take those home. These I want you to leave here obviously because once we are all done using the Sharpie and tracing these out, then we're going to add some really cool colors and then I'll show you all the different effects that you can do. So I am really excited to see these. I think that we're going to do awesome. Take your time. Don't rush. It's a-okay. So take your time. Have fun. This will be awesome. Have a great day, guys.